I played Ragnaros to level 20. Welcome back to Cooking with Ragnaros. Today we're making a simple yet beloved dish, spaghetti and meatballs. To start, find yourself a few noodles, at least one, no more than five. We don't use water here, so to soften the pasta we'll have to use our cooking hammer. Just beat the crap out of them! Once the noodles are all softened up, add some sauce, and top the dish off with some spicy meatballs. It's ready. Rag sits in a weird place. The game calls him a bruiser, but only because of how he looks after a fight. He's not super bulky, has very little crowd control, and has poor sustain outside of a few specific scenarios. I don't care what the wiki says. If you're curious to see how outclassed he is by other melee, go solo queue Rag for a while. See what happens. He's a big target without much to show for it. Ever try to tank with nothing but your face? It's not fun. His only real defense is glorious death in battle. Meaning, if you can't get away from your would-be killers, just start hitting them. You may be pleasantly surprised. Did you know Ragnaros has the third highest base auto-attack damage in the game? And the highest out of any melee DPS. That's a big shtick. Inexperienced players and cowards really don't like getting hit in the face. But what happens when you run into someone with a lot of hit points and a brain? They do exist. I've seen them. Not you. Competent opponents will isolate and eliminate Rag knowing there's not much he can do to save himself. So why pick him? Well, the amount of spell damage he's able to put out would make any mage blush. This makes Ragnaros incredibly effective at clearing minions. It's not unusual to end games with insane siege numbers. Overwhelming the enemy by virtue of lane pressure, which can push you out of bronze, but ranking up this way, you'll quickly run into people who actually learned how to fight. And like I said, in a scrap, things can go bad quickly. You'll be doing a lot of posturing in teamfights. No one wants to eat all that damage. At the same time, it might not be safe to dump all your cooldowns. So you'll hover around the fight waiting for your opportunity to walk in and start playing show and tell with Sulfuras. Once you're in and they can't stop you, you're safe to crank out the damage, weaving spells between auto attacks and pressuring the enemy backline with meatballs. Of course, at times there's no time to posture and you gotta get in there. Don't plan on surviving. Don't throw your life away, but your goal should be to do as much damage as possible on your way out. He's not the tankiest hero, but you do have enough tools at your disposal to make the enemy overcommit on their cooldowns to finish you off, giving your team space to clean up the mess. The other reason to pick Ragnaros is he's by far the best hero at base defense. Hey, get out of here, I'm not talking about you. Ragnaros is great at stalling pushes, either at range or with his face, potentially invalidating all the hard work the enemy put in to take an objective. Molten Core is what makes Ragnaros so special. Channeling on an allied fort or any destroyed one turns you into a raid boss, gaining a new decaying health bar that must be burned through for the enemy to damage the underlying structure. Uncontested, this form lasts 18 seconds, increases the range and modifies his abilities and including giving him a massive area stun. In some maps, this range increase can be used to stall objective captures. Doing this is a gamble, betting that the time you buy with the trait is more valuable than tanking the objective outright. Molten Core can eat a lot of damage. For example, a perfectly timed full health trait can eat three shots from Blackheart's cannons, enough to save a fort from guaranteed destruction. Okay, since it takes 12 to destroy a fort and towers at full health, let's say, perfect world, meaning you're able to trade every turn in, and every building has full health, with six main buildings to protect, that's 18 cannonballs Ragnaros can eat. Blackheart shoots 12 times per turn in, 18 is more than 12, and 18 is the perfect scenario, so with all that room for error you should be able to take out an entire objective's worth of cannonballs over the course of a game. Stupid map. Reg's other amazing defensive tool is Lava Wave. Enemy minions getting a little too rambunctious? Lava Wave starts at the friendly core and travels all the way down the lane to the other side of the map, instantly melting all hostile minions in its path. With this ult, timing is everything. Spamming it off cooldown works, sure, but a thoughtful rag player will keep an eye on the game clock knowing that minion waves spawn every 30 seconds. It also deals double damage to heroes, and it's great for covering a retreat or finding out who tunnels too hard. Hey, I'm gonna hit you in 10 seconds! Ah, that never gets old. Sulfurous Smash covers a couple holes Ragnaros has in his kit. At half the cooldown of Lava Wave, this ultimate gives Rag even more damage and a really nasty ranged stun. Don't miss. Great for initiating, defending, and following up on crowd control. Blast Wave is Ragnaros' only mobility tool, granting his target 25% move speed, then exploding after one and a half seconds. While this spell is outshone by dashes and teleports, the extra boost of speed combined with the ability to target your allies can be just enough to help a friend escape or for a tank to catch an enemy. 
Living Meteor is a fantastic tool for killing anyone that went to the Prometheus school of running away from things. Untalented, it's a rolling linear AoE spell, but with the right build can reach Blizzard employee levels of harassment. Empower Sulfuros. You know how earlier I said Ragnaros has really high attack damage? What if more? Pressing Q enhances Rag's next attack, increasing its damage, changing the damage type, adding an area of effect, and healing Rag for 20% of the damage dealt, doubled if hitting heroes. The nice thing about this spell is it resets Ragnaros' attack, so you'll want to use Q immediately after clapping someone with Sulfurus to reset his swing. Do take note that if an enemy can cause you to miss with dodges or blinds, this spell is wasted. You can get a little tricky with evading enemies by attacking what's ever nearby instead. Wait, what? I... I guess not? Ragnaros is a melee mage with high damage potential. If you're looking to round out your team with a second front line, there are better options. While he can't hold his own as effectively as other heroes in his weight class, his ability to stall enemy pushes and counter objectives can give his team enough time to get back on their feet or never be knocked down in the first place.